May I also remind you that a landlord may face criminal prosecution if he does any of the following to the tenant. A. Fraud under Section 443 of the Conveyancing Act 1973 is occasion when the landlord falsifies title to the purported lease premises or refuses to divulge any encumbrance material to the title. A conviction could be a fine and an imprisonment not exceeding two years or both. B. Rent advance exceeding six months could land you in jail of a maximum term of two years, a fine or both. Session 25.5 of the rent law as cited. This stipulates that money and shorter tenancies should not exceed more than a month's rent. Under Section 27 of the law, Inducing a tenant to quit is a criminal offense. For example, trying to remove the windows so that um, because of the inconvenience, the tenant will be compelled to leave the place. Refusing to issue a rent card is also a criminal offense, punishable by a fine or imprisonment not exceeding six months or both. Refusing to issue a receipt for regularly paid carry similar criminal sanctions. There is a miscellany of other offenses, but I want you to spare you in a law lecture at the moment. We are being admonished to stay at home as much as possible, and uh, even with the lifting of the lockdown, you, you have to stay at home. But if where you are supposed to stay, is having challenges because of the bad behavior of a landlord or a landlady for that matter. It is extremely unganian. How is it going to work in COVID environment if landlords with commercial appetites start evicting tenants from lease premises? That would be very unganian. Landlords must also be worried potential tenants from foreign countries. It is very mandatory to insist that without a COVID-19 negative clearance, the landlord should not rent out the premises. We all know that this pandemic has been important. So be careful that in the name of dollars, you go bring in a foreigner who hasn't gotten clearance is not infected by the disease to come and live in premises. I need not remind you that the virus is an importation from foreigners and those who had contacts with them prior to the lockdown. The president is showing utmost care and generosity in these trying moments in the nation's history. Landlords are entreated to extend similar treatment to tenants as they will not be spared if they exploit the situation and fall far of the law. May the good Lord continue to bless us all.